Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another edition and today we're carrying on with the Michael G. Fox filmography which I've just been really having a blast doing these videos and today, actually for the first time ever, I've got a brand new collaboration and a brand new guest to bring to the channel. So without further ado, let me introduce my guest for today. Once this guest has introduced himself, I'd like to know a little bit of knowledge or background knowledge that they had before seeing The Secret of my success. I'm Justin from JJ Lomas Entertainment. If you guys haven't heard of me, I've done previous collaborations with S. Lee Greer on Entertainment Fanatic Reviews. I've also been on Anthony A. Perez's channel a few times. I'm just stoked as hell to be here though. I wanna thank you, Mike, for having me on your channel. I know we've been trying to make this work for a little while now, but dude, you are the king of Back to the Future. I recently just saw your live stream with freaking George McFly. You killed it, man. I can just tell your love and respect for the fandom, just like I have a love and respect for Smallville and Stranger Things and a few other ones too. Sorry, I still sound a little congested from this cold, and no, it's not what you think. But dude, when you asked me if I'd ever heard of this obscure comedy movie with Michael J. Fox from the 80s, I had no clue, dude, but I was intrigued as hell. The movie in question, The Secret of My Success. As far as Michael J. Fox goes, I've seen some of his projects previously, Spin City, The Frighteners, I've heard of Teen Wolf, still have yet to see that one. But for this one, yeah, no previous knowledge and the only friend I talked to who heard about this was my friend who's in his early 40s, so he probably saw it when it came out. I did check it out though and I was pleasantly surprised. That is right, I've got the awesome GG Lomas Entertainment, aka Justin, joining me for today's collaboration of the 1987 movie, The Secret of My Success, directed by Herbert Ross, who is mainly known for doing a big number movie called Footloose. Yeah, Footloose is kind of the biggest hit that he's done in 1984. He's also done a couple of others, for example, like Steel Magnolias was another one in his later half. But however, the movie itself, of course, stars Michael J. Fox as Brantley slash Carlton Whitfield. We've also got Helen Slater starring as Christy Wells, who is known as Supergirl. We've also got Richard Jordan as Howard Prescott. We've got Margaret Witten as Aunt Vera. We've also got Fred Gwynn as Donald Davenport. And we've also got Jerry Bowman, who you may know as Uncle. Uncle Frank from Home Alone 2. So essentially the plot of The Secret of My Success, character called Brantley, of course, played by Michael J. Fox, lives in Kansas. However, he wants to make it over into New York City as he gets a job in kind of like a financing department. However, once he gets there, it doesn't turn out that happens. So he has to rely on Uncle Howard to essentially get him a job at this kind of big firm that he's working in. He's hired as a male boy and he's trying to get all the way up to the top and be part of one of the suits. So what can I honestly say about my quick overall thoughts in this movie? Well, it's an actual 80s comedy blast and such a great time. I love this movie and I personally think it is massively underrated. So I've got to give firstly a big shout out to my older sister because she actually introduced me to this movie way before I'd actually seen Back to the Future. I've watched this film countless times. It is just so good and I think it's highly underrated because the comedy sequences that we get in this movie are just funny as hell. They honestly really do bring a smile to my face each and every time. But the soundtrack in this movie is just sublime. It really, really fits the movie perfectly and the sequences throughout as well. It just matches the tempo. What I'd like to do is hand it back over to my guest for the collab, Justin, and actually hear about his positives for the movie because this is the first ever time that he's seen The Secret of My Success. So Justin, take it away my man. What are your positives? Most of the stuff in this movie for me is positive. I mean, who doesn't like a fish out of water scenario? Michael J. Fox is trying to win the heart of Supergirl herself, Helen Slater, but he has to bullshit her a lot. Lead a double life. These scenarios are fun as hell to watch for me. And I don't know, there's just something about 1980s comedy that have that charm immediately, you know? The best scenes in this film for me are with the late Margaret Witten. I mean, she's always hitting on Michael J. Fox being the typical cougar, you know? And he instantly feels awkward. The tension is nuts. But hey, if you had a chance to score with a hot older lady, you probably do it. The most relevant part of the movie though is a scene where our main character Brantley is looking for a job and he's discussing his job experience with a potential interested corporation. And we know all he has is college experience and he's trying to convince them how that should be enough to win them over but this company just isn't interested at this point. Brantley's just like, okay, so what was the point of college then if nowhere will give me the real world experience I need? And the hiring manager's a savage dude. He's just like, you had fun there, didn't you? As funny as that is, I think we can all relate to situations like that. From Michael J. Fox constantly hearing sex noises from across the hall and he's like trying to like fake conduct them, so to speak, to a scene reminiscent of like the classic Scooby-Doo cartoons, 
I was laughing my ass off, like, the whole movie. Yeah, Justin brings up some very, very valid points in his portions. I just love that you had an absolute blast with this movie, and that you found that this was a great 80s cheesy comedy. You summed it up perfectly, because it is that. It really kind of just epitomises the 80s, and especially the soundtrack choices. So, for example, we've got, like, Katrina and the Waves, Walking on Sunshine. We've also got Roger Daltrey in here as well. We've got Night Ranger singing The Secret of My Success song, and, of course, we We've got an awesome number by Yellow. Oh yeah. You know, that kind of song. Although it kind of sounded like Macho Man Randy Savage there. And again, just the music in this movie really just fits the tones and the scenes that's going on. So for example, there's kind of this one scene where Justin highlighted with this kind of like chase sequence, which reminded him of Scooby-Doo, which is awesome because I actually didn't really think of that. But now that you're going to mention it, it definitely does remind me of that. Like the characters run through the hallways. In this, there's definitely a sequence where there's a couple of characters chasing each other throughout the hallways. And I don't want to kind of really spoil like the love interests and stuff in this and kind of what's going on that kind of leads into this sequence because it honestly builds it up really, really well. So one of my biggest positives of this movie is how Michael J. Fox balances playing two characters at the same time in the same building. First thing in the morning, he is in the mail room or going up to the offices delivering the mail. However, kind of like as the day progresses, he then changes into a suit and then plays Colton Whitfield, ideally not trying to get spotted by his uncle Howard, played by Richard Jordan. Otherwise, obviously his secret is going to be blown, but in the meantime, he falls in love with this girl called Christy Wells, played by Helen Slater. I absolutely love the chemistry between the two, and I love the fun fact is of this movie, is Michael J. Fox is what, like, five foot five or so? And essentially, when it came to the kissing scenes with Christy Wells, they essentially had to adjust Michael J. Fox's height for those kissing scenes because obviously he's kind of like a midget compared to her. I also think the plot is just fantastic. I love a movie where a character has to play another individual or like a hidden identity and seeing how Michael J. Fox pulls this off throughout the movie and how the kind of comedy just carries it over. Honestly, it's just a sight to behold and Michael J. Fox, I mean, he's such a likeable guy and the way that he goes around comedy is just kind of, I personally believe, never been matched. Let me hand it straight over to Justin yet again. And Justin, have you actually got any negatives for the movie? As far as negatives go, I don't really have that many. I mean, movies in the 80s are supposed to be dumb, funny, and full of heart at times. I mean, look at Weekend at Bernie's or The Money Pit. I mean, I guess if I could nitpick, I would say that the movie is overly cheesy with the sappy 80s music, but I mean, it's that kind of movie, right? Yeah, I'd have to agree with Justin in terms of like just being like 80s filled cheesy soundtrack movie music. And yeah, if you're not really a fan of that, you're probably not going to like this movie. Odd little times, you do kind of feel like odd, like slight tonal shifts. So at one point, it wants to be a comedy, then it wants to be a drama. And I guess if you are going into this for a first ever time, you may notice that a little bit more than maybe say I have. Yeah, I don't really have any negatives for this movie at all. So Justin, any final thoughts for the movie, man? And overall, what would you give this as a score? So my final thoughts on this film, it's entertaining, it's corny. The supporting cast is pretty good too. We get freaking Herman Munster himself, Fred Gwain appearing in a little bit of this too. What's not to love? I'm kind of mad at myself for sleeping on this one because it is just as funny as a lot of other 80s classics like Adventures in Babysitting or Ferris Bueller. You guys are going to laugh your ass off and after this I want to definitely go on like an 80s comedy binge and check out a lot of the other ones I missed out on. So would I recommend this movie? Of course, no question about it. Instant classic for me. Mike, I want to thank you for having me on your channel again. Hey man, until next time. My overall score for The Secret of My Success is... And yeah, one other thing that I actually looked into when shooting this review was the cast that's involved in this. So for example, like Richard Jordan, Margaret Whitten, Herbert Ross, and there's a couple of other people that's in The Secret of My Success who unfortunately have passed away and it's such a shame because I was thinking, oh, would they ever kind of maybe do a cast reunion? Yeah, it's just such a shame that when I actually read up on this, it's only maybe about half the cast or so, if that, actually still alive. So honestly, rest in peace to everyone that was involved in the movie that unfortunately has passed away. But also before I go, I did not forget Get because honestly, you guys are going to want to check out GG Lumas Entertainment. And I've got to thank Justin firstly for being a part of this collab. Such an awesome, 
awesome guy. He really produces some great content. He does kind of like vlog style videos and travel videos of set locations of like Stranger Things and Smallville. So if you're a big fan of Superman, Supergirl or anything like that, he's been doing a review lately on Rebel Robin, which is actually a podcast. So he really is expanding his channel. And I'd really appreciate it if you just went over there, press the red subscribe button, check out a video, go give him a thumbs up. And also in the comment box, tell him that I sent you. Also, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and please press that red subscribe button so I can see you around here next time and also please continue to support the channel also surpassing 250 subscribers thank you so much for your support it is generally really really appreciated and guys until the next time that you see me i'll be zigging you later